Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to unroot the Moto G5 and the G5 Plus. So, if you're running a custom ROM or if you're rooted and you want to go back to the stock original firmware, I'm going to show you how to do it in this simple tutorial. So, um, first is first, all you'll need to do is back up all your important files, videos, photos, anything that you might find or classes important just make sure you back it all up onto your PC or a thumb drive um, because doing this is going to wipe the device totally clean and put it back to the stock firmware so now that I've explained that first thing you'll need to do now is head on over to the link in the description the link will be in the description down below head on over to the link and it'll take you to this XDA page and on this page you're going to scroll down And you're going to download ADB Fastboot. You're going to download version 1.4.2. So just click on it. And select the begin download option. And then select primary download. And then it will start to download. It's a small file so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, so once it's downloaded, just open it up. Okay, let's just go to where it downloaded okay so just open it up hit next I accept agreement then hit next and it should by default it should store onto your x86 it should store onto the C program files x86 by default so just go ahead and hit next, hit next again, and hit next, and then hit install, and then hit finish. Okay, so let's just go to the x86 on our C drive. So let's go to C drive. We're just going to check that it installed correctly. So program files x86, and there it is, minimal ADB and fastboot. So we've got Fastboot installed and set up. So next, you'll need to go to the next link in the description down below. And this is where you're going to download the Moto G5 stock firmware. I'll also leave links to the Moto G5 Plus stock firmware as well. So just head on to the links in the description down below to download your stock firmware for either your Moto G5 or your G5 Plus. Once you've downloaded it, store it on your desktop like I've already done there it is so for, for the Moto G5 it's called Cedric so that's the name of the stock ROM Cedric so um, once you've started on your desktop like I've done just create a new folder on your desktop by right clicking and select new create a new folder and then drag and drop the stock firmware into that new folder then open it up, then right click on it and select extract all and then select extract and now it's just going to extract all the files it's going to take a while to extract
Okay, so once it's finished extracting, just open up the folder where it's extracted to and just highlight everything, highlight all the files and just copy all of these files and then go back to the C drive, find the x86 folder and then find your minimal ADB and fastboot folder. Now just right click on your mouse and paste all those files into there. If you get this little pop-up box, just select the little box there, do this for all current items and then hit continue. And then it will then copy all the files over into the, into the minimal ADB fastboot folder. Okay, so now that all the files are copied over into the ADB fastboot folder, what you need to do now is just find a blank space anywhere inside the ADB fastboot folder and press shift on your keyboard and right click on your mouse until it brings up this little box. Select open command window here. Okay. Okay, so next you need to copy and paste these commands. I'll leave a link to the commands in the description down below. So you're going to copy and paste these commands. So just highlight all these commands. Right down to where it says fast boot and reboot. You're not going to copy number seven. Don't copy that. Just copy it all the way down to where it says fast boot and reboot. So just copy it and then go back to the little black window, right click and then select paste. No, in fact, don't select paste yet. You need to connect your phone first to the USB cable. So power off your device. So just power it off. And then go into fast boot mode, press volume down along with the power button. So volume down and power, just keep them both held down until you're in fast boot mode. And then what you need to do now is just use the volume down button and keep pressing it down until you see start. Now connect your phone to the USB cable. And then you can paste the command into the window and now it's just going to flash the stop firmware onto the phone
Okay, so we're almost done. So once it's finished, it should say finished right here. Then just go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to reboot. And your phone should be reboot. And now you can just unplug it from the USB cable. Okay, so once it's finished rebooting, you'll have to just go through the whole setup again. So let me just put in my Wi-Fi password. Okay, so skip, next, and there you have it, back to stock firmware, and as you can see there's no Magisk's um, application on there, or no super user app. So the phone is totally unrooted and totally back to the stock original firmware. So like I said, this works with the G5 and the G5 Plus. All you have to do is just download your stock firmware from the links in the description down below. Either download it for the G5 or the G5 Plus and then follow this simple tutorial on how to flash the stock firmware back onto your phone. So anyway guys, this was just my quick how to unroot. Um, video if you like the video sure to give it a thumbs up leave any comments in the comment section down below it's your boy the android doctor thanks for watching